business for part two of the council. Your Majesty to make your declaration. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is my most sorrowful duty to announce to you the death of my beloved mother, the Queen. I know how deeply you, the entire nation, and I think I may say the whole world, sympathise with me in the irreparable loss we've all suffered. It is the greatest consolation to me to know of the sympathy expressed by so many to my sister and brothers and that such overwhelming affection and support should be extended to our whole family in our loss. To all of us as a family, as to this kingdom and the wider family of nations of which it is a part, my mother gave an example of lifelong love and of selfless service. My mother's reign was unequaled in its duration, its dedication and its devotion. Even as we grieve, we give thanks for this most faithful life. I am deeply aware of this great inheritance and of the duties and heavy responsibilities of sovereignty which have now passed to me. In taking up these responsibilities, I shall strive to follow the inspiring example I have been set in upholding constitutional government and to seek the peace, harmony and prosperity of the peoples of these islands and of the Commonwealth realms and territories throughout the world. In this purpose, I know that I shall be upheld by the affection and loyalty of the peoples whose sovereign I have been called upon to be, and that in the discharge of these duties, I will be guided by the counsel of their elected parliaments. In all this, I am profoundly encouraged by the constant support of my beloved wife. I take this opportunity to confirm my willingness and intention to continue the tradition of surrendering the hereditary revenues, including the Crown Estate, to my government for the benefit of all, in return for the sovereign grant, which supports my official duties as head of state and head of nation. And in carrying out the heavy task that has been laid upon me and to which I now dedicate what remains to me of my life, I pray for the guidance and help of Almighty God. I have with humble duty to crave your majesty's permission for the publication of your gracious speech. Approved. Concerning the security of the Church of Scotland, I understand that the law requires that I should, at my accession to the Crown, take and subscribe the oath relating to the security of the Church of Scotland. I am ready to do so at this first opportunity. I, Charles III, by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of my other realms and territories, King, Defender of the Faith, do faithfully promise and swear that I shall inviolably maintain and preserve the settlement of the true Protestant religion as established by the laws made in Scotland in prosecution of the claim of right and particularly by an act intituled an act for securing the Protestant religion and Presbyterian Church Government, and by the Acts passed in the Parliament of both Kingdoms for union of the two Kingdoms, 
together with the government, worship, discipline, rights and privileges of the Church of Scotland. So help me God. I now invite Your Majesty to subscribe both copies of the instrument, confirming the oath has been taken. I now invite the witnesses to His Majesty's oath to sign both copies of the instrument.